welcome back to the channel. I'm Rochelle. This is Brampton Gardener. So I've mentioned quite a few times that I'm going to be building my own terrarium and we are starting today with foraging for some of the items in the container. I've already taken a few cuttings from some of the things that we're growing and today we're going to go out and we're going to look for some moss and maybe some ivy um, if I can find something that might work in the terrarium because this is going to be done on a budget and I'm going to try and use as many found items as I can. So let's go see what we can find. Perfect. So as you can see we're up here at the top of the hill and there's a bit of moss right where the grass meets the flower beds. So there's some bright green moss here. That's beautiful. And I think there's some more patches there. And this is good news, Dexter. This is good news. I wasn't sure if we were going to find any today because I hadn't seen any. Last time I looked, all I had seen, you can see it's all in the, the grass here, which could be kind of tricky. I don't want to bring any grass in. So I'll be very careful to get any grass out. This was all I saw the last time. So that's not, that's not a good specimen. So we're going to go get our tools and Dexter's going to help me. We're going to come back and we're going to dig up as much of that moss as we can get. so far so I'm gonna look and see if there's some bit more up in here where there's less grass to deal with so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to come to my dead weeping crab apple and I'm gonna see if I can't get a few nice chunks of bark off of it um, to be able to use in the terrarium so let's see let's very carefully crawl in there getting our feet all wet and see if we can't just get a few of these off of here without breaking it into too small a pieces. Now it's gonna just chunk off. I might have to get a screwdriver or something to slide under there a little bit better. That's a fairly decent chunk. Put that on our thing. And hope Dexter doesn't try to eat it. <laughs> You have better left down here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a nice piece. There you go. Now these I will probably Soak in some water and then just microwave it so I don't bring any diseases into the house. Were you trying to help? Thank you. Thank you for your assistance. Yeah. Yeah. Now I do, like I have, I think I got, that's quite a bit of moss that came up from that section. Um, I would like to see if I can find maybe a different, slightly different variety or color moss. So we'll keep looking. We're gonna keep hunting. Hi. Oh, is there a treat in my pocket? <laughs> is there a treat in my pocket? Is that what you're putting? Is there? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, there is. That's a big piece too. Nice little dried liver piece. Okay, off, off. We're still hunting. Just my lilac blooming though. Why do you have to try and get in the shot every time? This is not about you, okay? This is about my terrarium, okay? This is a terrarium video, not a pug video, okay? And these in the front yard, and I think these are one of my, my older ones. Maybe I'll see if I can't get a nice peel off that bird. Oh, that's going to be good, Dex. Okay. 
I really should put the camera down and use both hands so I don't tear it. We're not going to be smart, are we? Nope. Okay, can you get your head out of the shot? Dex. Apparently this is Pug TV. Dexter TV, all Dexter all the time, yeah. Oh, that's a nice piece of bark to go in the terrarium. Let's see if we can't get another nice chunk off of here. Seriously, dude. I'm ready for my close-up. So this is one of the um, birch sticks that I've had for several years that I've used over and over. So I don't mind peeling this one off. It's going to add a pop of bright white and texture in the terrarium. I think this is another one of my. Oh, this could, could be newer. This looks really nice too, though. Let's flip it around on camera. There we go. A nice chunk off of there. And these ducks are crashing through <laughs> for us. Hi, ducks. Lots of little rocks and stones. I have a few little crystals that I kind of want to incorporate as well but i think this is a pretty good start okay so now we're going to wash everything out in the laundry sink i'm going to soak it for a little bit try and get as much of the soil off the moss and then i'll probably add some hydrogen peroxide and i'll do the same to the wood but it appears really awkward um, i'm going to do the same to the wood so that i bring it into the house nice and clean and then the moss is going to go in its own little Quarantine a little bit. And then this will go into a tray into the microwave. Okay, so I was walking down the street and look what I found. Jackpot! Here's a nice little chunk of some moss. Good if I got it in the shot, right? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the color on that. It's so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna just get all of this. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Okie dokie. I'm gonna wish I brought a bag with me. I did not think I was gonna find this much. Oh, sorry. Eh. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Okay, so here I am. I found another... I found these two little pieces while I was walking. I really like the color on those. And then I found another little, little bit of moss right here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this as well. And then we'll just kind of keep walking around and see what we see. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Dexter says hi. Thank you for watching our first foraging video for the terrarium. More to come. Dexter's excited. He heard nature walk. Didn't you? You want to go on a nature hike? You want to go on a nature walk? Yeah? Look for some sticks and twigs that have fallen on the ground? Yeah, that sounds good. Right. See you in the next video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you can see all the videos that will be in my terrarium series, which will be getting its own special playlist um, as I get going. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> okay, last time we were out for a walk, I found this cute little branchy twig and um, I just really liked uh, kind of all the small little bits on it. So uh, we're gonna clean that one up too. And then this can get like cut down and stuff and put into the terrarium.